Hey guys, just a few notes on character creation. I don't know about some of you, but um, I can spend hours in my RPGs uh, just designing my character. I might spend a whole day just making my character look the way I want before I actually even get any gameplay in. Um, that's just me. Uh, I pretty much have a preset idea on how I'm going to make my character. I prefer the Breton. Uh, it's just my favorite, appearance-wise, in the game. Uh, in Oblivion, it was either a Breton or a Dark Elf. Those are my two favorites. I'm not a big fan of the way the elves look, as far as my character is concerned, in Skyrim. They have a cool look, but just not for me. I like the NPCs, but I don't want my character to look like that. Um, one of my issues with the uh, facial characteristics on all of them is the kind of sunken, up-curved jawline. Uh, that a lot of them have. It, it, for some reason, it doesn't look natural. Say just from an artist's perspective. And so, a cure for that is over here you have jaw height, and that will uh, extend the, the lower curvature of the jaw. The higher you go, the lower it'll drop. I, I don't want to go too much, obviously. You get too much of the chipmunk cheek look, but uh, I like a rounded cheek on a girl for the most part. So, drop that down a little bit, uh, adjust the jaw width if I have to, bring that in some. And then um, for the uh, middle part of the cheek itself, the jaw forward from a front view will round out the side of the cheeks. I obviously don't want to go too far with that either because then it doesn't look natural in, in profile. Anyway, so finding a, a, a sweet middle ground there to where the overall rounded face look that I like, you know, I can achieve that. Uh, slider tricks. Not like I'm telling you guys anything you don't know, but... Uh, I say I spend hours in this. Um, noses. There are some noses which, initially, looking at them, at first I'd say, no, no, that's, that's just not for me. But with a little adjustment, the nose's appearance and even the entire nose region uh, can be extended and can change uh, quite dramatically. Uh, I'm not a big fan of how high the bridge is uh, between the eyes on this nose, or else I would actually probably use this one because it's a good, small, petite nose for a girl's face. So. I go with this one, and though it starts out kind of big and beefy, um, raising it up some, and then obviously shortening it, looks okay. Okay to me. Good good middle ground there. Um, maybe you can go up one more. Okay, and I will be raising my mouth eventually. Uh, speaking of mouths, there is one in here. It's, it's personally one of my favorites, but it takes a lot of adjusting. Is this frumpy mouth right here. I do not like that. It's, it sits low. It's like I'm, I have pouty face here. But with some adjustments, raising it, you can change uh, slightly not only the expression of the mouth, but the entire appearance of the mouth on the face. And then um, to cure the overbite issue, which works with some of them, but not, in, not with this one in my opinion, um, chin forward. Uh, it doesn't just deal with the chin. It deals with the whole bottom jaw. And so you can bring the lips out, and if you want to go Uthgert the Unbroken with the stubborn I dare you to punch me in my face look, there you go, go all the way forward with it, I'll find the middle ground. My character here, and I think that'll work. I'll put on lipstick should you decide to use it if you're on a female character to see if that looks natural. That looks good for me. Maybe even up one more notch. Okay, and that might dictate, in fact I'm probably going to bring the chin up some to round the face out just a little bit more. Widen that some, and uh, you know once you get the frame, the outer part of the face done, you can start working on the inside and put everything in its place to where it looks balanced. Uh, each to his own, you know. The beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, so to speak. So, you know, what do you think looks good? By the time I'm done with this, all y'all might say, "Oh, that is the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life." Well, you know, that's cool. Each to his own. I like it. I'm cool with it. That, that's what matters. You know, this is the character I want to play. It's who I want to be. And in the cutscenes where I'm doing a mad decapitation on some uh, bandit who had the bad luck to run into my person, um, there you go. You know, you see this, you know, uh, image of my face, you know, with this mean scowl as I, you know, lop his head off type of thing. It's all good fun. All right, let's see. Uh, brow type. Mm. That probably work. Uh... Height isn't the only thing that adjusts the height. Also, brow width will raise it slightly towards the center. Um, not brow width, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, brow width. Yeah, as, as you narrow it, it will, it will usually raise the brow somewhat. I'm not going to do that. I like the default. Uh, brow forward, you can get rid of the Neanderthal look by moving it back some. Um, different eyes have different brow depths. Like, 
Lydia's eyes, which I prefer, uh, are the third from the left, right there. And if you want to make them a little bigger, adjust the width a little bit. And then you see the uh, the brow is much more pronounced like that. And so go back in here and take some of the Neanderthal out of it. And uh, perhaps lower them one more notch, maybe. Nice wicked look there. Don't know if the mouth is too high. I might be able to drop that one. And then uh, go back to the eyes and you know start making up the face. Once I've got everything where I want it, obviously. Uh, I tend. I don't like that one. Uh, I may may leave most of that out altogether, and just go with eyeliner. And then the witch who hasn't slept in six days look, because that is going to go with the war paint, which is one of my favorite parts. Each race has its own distinct war paint to the right side of the slider, and uh, Bretons are one of my favorites. Um, this can go with either a really pale skin or a mid-range. Now, this same skin tone on other races would be a lot darker. Uh, the Bretons and the Nords tend to be paler, where even to the far right, that is not as dark as the mid-tones on some other races. Um, this one I usually go over about five. Now one, two, three, four, five, four. Eh, four is good. Okay. Um, war paint. This is my favorite with this one. With the Nord, the same spot right here would be the three stripes like you find in Aella, which is also a really cool one. If I do play a Nord, I'll usually pick that one. And then uh, I'm going to go all the way wicked with this one. And I'm keeping in mind that way, way later in the game, thinking ahead a little bit, I probably want to become a vampire with the glowing eyes. And the glowing eyes on that, on that black background there would look really cool, especially in a cutscene where you're doing, uh, you know, a finishing move or a decapitation, whatever. Uh, and this is my default hairstyle on all my female characters. Uh, I take the braid out because too many dudes wear the braid in the game, and I usually go black. These two, I'll go with that one. There we go. And that would be that would be my character. In a cutscene when this character right here is decapitating somebody, it, it actually looks really cool. And in third person, uh, when you've been away from your controller for a while and you do the full 360 camera span thing that the game does on its own, uh, your character looks kind of cool standing there. I'll eventually be wearing the uh, tribal armor that the Forsworn have, and I'll, I'll finish the game in that armor. Once you get that upgraded and get a good dual enchantments on all the pieces, uh, it's, it's solid armor. It's really light, and it leaves you a lot of inventory space to carry stuff. And even on Legendary, I don't see why that wouldn't work. Um, I'll also be running around just steel weapons. Uh, steel weapons are good. Steel smithing um, is enough to make your weapons. Uh, they may be a little weaker than, say, some dragon bone or whatever, but you don't have to spend hardly any points in blacksmithing whatsoever. And you can, even on Master Difficulty, one and two shot even some dragons, you know, in sneak uh, with that. So it works. Anyway, just slider tips, uh, character creation, what, you know, what's fun for you. And uh, we'll get into some gameplay now. All right, see you guys.